Hi, my name is Hershey and welcome back. I'm going to today I'm going to be programming an API integrated Alexa skill on which block uh, that gives me updates about Corona. Uh, so talking about that, what is real time data? Real time data RTD is information that is delivered immediately after collection. There is no delay in the timeliness of the information provided. Real time data is often used for navigation or tracking. Real time data is not the same as dynamic data. Like to sum it up or to basically understand, real time data is data which changes every day, every hour, every minute, or even every second. For example, let's take let's take the case of babies born every minute or every like yeah. For uh, for example, about three hundred eighty five thousand babies are born each day according to United Nations, and on an average, two fifty babies are born every minute. And a baby is born approximately every eight second. That's crazily awesome. So how is this a real time data? See, because every eight second the number of babies being born is changing. So that's why it's real time data. Okay. So now talking about real time data, we come to something called an API. So what exactly is an API? An API is uh or uh, like an api or application programming interface is a set of possible interactions with a software component and what does this mean have you ever seen your parents moving parents booking a movie ticket online or booking a pizza for you what do they do they just enter the movie name select seats enter the payment details and they are done ever wondered how bo mo movie booking sites can aggregate like thousands of movies and showcase the seating arrangement who is doing all these things in the back end well the answer is api so let's take the wait example okay for your understanding now suppose you are sitting in a restaurant and you want to order a um, order something you have a menu with you and you have a kitchen but there's there should be someone right who connects you with the kitchen and you so basically here comes the waiter that is api in this case so you are the app or web the customer the waiter is the api and the kitchen is the system what happens is when you order that time the waiter that is the api takes your request in this case the order to the system that is the kitchen in this case the kitchen then gives gives the response that is the food in this case to the api and the api that is the waiter in this case gets back the response that is the food in this case to the app or the web that is customer or you in this case so i hope that you've understand understood this and now we're going to go to the what uh, the advantages of api and programming apis will help you get real time data at a faster rate the best example is your uber or ola car booking uber instantly updates you on the location of your taxi and the expected time that you are going to be picked up at it also makes the search really efficient so now i'm going to show you my uh, skills that i've programmed on wiz club uh, Wiz Club, uh, that is Wiz Bot Alexa dashboard. Yeah. So I made a Corona updater, a Corona news, a one word quiz, a short story using SSML, an SSM, uh, an audio, like a story using audio, a story, and even a family fact. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you my Corona updater. Why Corona updater? Because Corona is real time news right now. It's changing every minute or and every second. Like there are many cases coming by. So we'll just see my code right over here. Now, okay. So over here you see the Alexa start, and then if you go in the bottom, okay, you see this Alexa end. So the Alexa start is basically the starting and end is the basically the end okay as it as the name suggests now if you see this block the intent utterances and response it's present in the with alexa intent so what you have to do is you have to grab this block so what is utterance utterance is basically what you say what you say and what is and response is what is answered by um, the uh, chatbot over here this is a with buddy and the alexa okay so with buddy is a local chatbot in with block server so next we see this variable called set covid data so set covid data is a variable in computer programming variable is basically a box okay a container that takes the value 
so this basically plays the SSML uh, like the play this set what it basically does it it sets the variable to api request url so what is api request url it is a U, uh, url of the api so suppose now let's just see the api to see basically what's inside the api we're going to click on the circle button right here then we're going to paste the link and then we're going to click on test api now you can see the api neatly arranged over here now in the starting okay let's see here so then if you see below set new cases variable covid data so you're getting this link okay here through covid data this covid data was set to this link right so we're getting it here then the key name global so what is this global huh. so if you see in this api you see global so global is a category inside that api and you are basically telling that if this utterance comes then it's going to go to this api then in global and then new confirmed so new confirmed is a subcategory under the category global okay so you see this right yes so basically it's going to tell it's telling uh where, in, where inside the api this number is located and what number you have to actually display okay now so what happens the response should be this like as per today's response then the number are the new confirmed corona cases for today like that i've even programmed for recovery updates i've even programmed it for uh you know death updates i've even programmed it for total confirmed updates you can even program it for the other things what have i haven't done like to uh, total like total confirmed i've done yeah total deaths and total recovered okay now we're going to test it on our visbuddy so visbuddy is our local chatbot here on visblock server so before that we have to train uh, save our uh, what do you say save our uh, with skill and then we have to train our visbuddy now we click on visbuddy okay then good evening i'm visbuddy your learning buddy how can i help you now you're gonna uh what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the utterances so we'll just type it down here so i want to know uh, the uh, new cases for today so i'm going to put tell me the new co corona cases and then i'm going to send it to his buddy okay then he's going to answer as per today's response, 284,906 are the new confirmed corona cases for today. Now I'm, I'm going to ask him something else. Like I, I'm very, um, I'm optimistic and I want to know how many people have recovered. And I'm, I am really hoping for the school and this corona to end. I'm hoping for the school to start. So I am asking the recovered cases. Tell me the new uh yes the covered cases okay i forgot to write corona yeah corona cases okay Hmm. So As per today's response, 199,030 are the new recovered corona cases for today. So Wizbuddy is giving us everything and now I'm going to deploy it on uh, Alexa, basically Alexa developer console and all the Alexa devices. So Alexa developer console is basically an app for all my skills. So I'm going to deploy it and remember while giving the invocation name, you have to always give it in small letters. Don't give it in uh, capital letters. So I'm going to give it Hershey virus update virus because it's corona is a virus and update because the app tells about the updates then i'm going to deploy so the skill is successfully deployed now i'm going to test it on alexa developer console okay so now over here i'm going to go to my skill that was hershey corona updated so it's loading hmm now if you see here, my uh, skill has come and I'm going to click on it. 
then I'm going to find out my invocation. I'm going to click on invocation and then I'm going to this is my uh, invocation name that is skill invocation name. So it is Harshi virus update. Now I'm going to test this. So I'm going to click on test. Okay. So hmm. now I'm going to ask this app and is it's going to answer everything and it's going to connect to that API and answer. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. Welcome to Harshi's Corona Updater. It's good to see you. What would you like to do? So I asked open Hashi virus update and it is asking me uh, what would I like to do? I'm, I'm going to tell it tell me tell me yeah what was it? Yeah tell me today's new Corona case Oops, sorry. Cases. Hmm. Hmm. As per today's response, 284,906 are the new confirmed corona cases for today. Now I will ask, as I told you, I'm very optimistic. I will ask the recovered thing. Okay, tell me a uh, new. We covered Corona cases. Oh God, cases. Huh. Hmm. As per today's response, one lakh ninety nine thousand thirty are the new recovered Corona cases for today. Similarly, I asked the deaths. Oops, this is embarrassing. I just ran into an error. Please try again later. So, because I didn't, uh, you know, put the actual utterance, it is not answering. So I'll just ask it. Tell me the new deaths related to Corona. Hmm. So As per today's response, 3,345 are the new deaths related to Corona for today. Okay. Uh, we'll ask it the, you know, confirmed cases also. So, I will ask it, tell me the total confirmed cases. Uh, hmm. Cases till now. As per today's response, three crore ninety nine lakh forty eight thousand nine hundred thirty four are the total confirmed cases of Corona till now. That's too much. So now this was Alexa Developer Console, and now I'm going to test it on my Echo Dot. So I'll just connect it, you know, to the thing. So it's getting switched on. I hope you can see it. So we'll ask it the same thing and we'll see if it answers. Like you can even ask the other, you can even ask um, and the Alexa uh, app, uh, you, it, even it will answer. So I'll, I'll be showing you that after this. So right now I'm going to ask Echo Dot, okay? Hmm. Alexa, open Hershey virus update. Welcome to Hershey's Corona Updater. It's good to see you. What would you like to do? Tell me today's new Corona cases. As per today's response, 2,84,906 are the new confirmed Corona cases for today. Tell me the new recovered Corona cases. 
As per today's response, 1,99,030 are the new recovered corona cases for today. Tell me the new deaths related to corona. As per today's response, 3,345 are the new deaths related to corona for today. Tell me the total confirmed cases till now. As per today's response, 3,99,48,934 are the total confirmed cases of corona till now. Thank you. Do you want to know more? Nope. Mm -hmm. So this was uh, testing it on the, you know, Echo Dot. So now I'm going to program it. Uh, I'm going to show it on my Alexa app. And so let's see it. Alexa, open Hershey virus update. Welcome to Hershey's Corona Updater. It's good to see you. What would you like to do? Tell me the total confirmed cases till now. As per today's response, 3 crore 99 lakh 48,934 are the total confirmed cases of Corona till now. Tell me new recovered Corona cases. As per today's response, 1,99,030 are the new recovered corona cases for today. Tell me today's new corona cases. As per today's response, 2,84,906 are the new confirmed corona cases for today. Tell me the new deaths related to corona. As per today's response, 3,345 are the new deaths related to corona for today. So thank you and meet you another day with another video. Bye bye.